this is Cameron Gary. I'm going to try to film a um, tutorial of my peacock design on the forehead. I had a request for it. Um, I'm going to use this tag one stroke. It's, I believe it's called Elegant Feather and I changed the colors. I switched the gold and the light green around and then it's light blue and dark blue. And I'm going to use my favorite tag three quarter brush. You can see it's loaded already with just a little bit of the blue on the outer edge. And hopefully this goes well. I've never filmed myself before, but I got a new computer. So we're going to start in the middle of the forehead. And you can make a little V if you want to start. We're going to do petal shapes going up. Push and pull up. Push and pull up. There's the first one, right in the middle. We're just going to keep going. Don't be afraid to reload or wipe the cake off with a baby wipe if you feel like it's um, the colors are getting muddy. And you'll have a different amount of petals depending on the size of the forehead. You might only need one row on a tiny forehead. And I'm doing this whole side first. And then when I get to the end, I'm going to do a little petal going down like that. Flip my brush over, keep the darker color on the outer edge, and pull it down. Now we're going to fill in on this side. Push and pull it up. And pull it up. Little girls really like this one. Actually, a lot of adults like this one. And I do it in pink and purple too. Ready for that one? And then we're going to add one more on the corner going down. Over and down. Over. Like that. Okay. Glitter explosion, so there's glitter everywhere. <clears throat> and I usually just kind of give it a minute to dry. The one in the middle is already dry. So we're going to start overlapping right here in between these two. And we're going over and up. Same thing. There we go. We're going to angle them as we go. The last one kind of pointing out. Same thing on the other side. We're going to add a lot of glitter 
to make it really sparkly. And for the last one, out, out. And you can fill in any little spaces with the gold. I'm going to make two more little feathers. Pointing up. Now my favorite part. I'm using some yellow gold glitter. It's Mama Clown. It comes in a poofer. I took the top off. I'm just going to get my finger wet and we're going to dab a little in the center of each one. Makes it extra sparkly and gorgeous without having to do a ton of details, which is great for a long line. Okay, now we do our little peacock and we are almost done. I'm actually using the same one stroke and I'm going to low my number three low corno from the outer edge dark blue. And I'm going to make a circle in the middle. or a little oval head shape, fill in, and then we're going to go make a little neck, into an oval for the body. And fill that in. And you can make it bigger or smaller. I don't like anything too big right on the nose. Here we go, a little body. And I'm gonna get my finger damp again. And now I'm using the Aqua Ocean Teal Glitter. Gorgeous. I'm going to tap it on his body. Don't forget to put a little dot of white for his eye so it can dry while we do the Same number three brush. So this one really uses fair for a long line too. And we're going to draw his little beak. And then a really light outline. And I usually only do one side. Just the front and his head. And three little flicks for his head feathers. 
curving them back a little bit. Mm -hmm. And a dot in his eye. So you can add highlights, outlines, um, some swirls and teardrops to fancy it up. A super fast version for your long lines. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Cameron Garrett with Making Faces and Tutus, and I'll put a link to my website and my Facebook page. And feel free to ask me any questions. Have a great day.